election. On this day when we commemorate his death, it is a reminder and a, a ring, uh, ringing a bell in our minds as humanity that we should know that all of us are brothers and sisters. In the nation, there are no people who are specially gazetted for the government and others for the church. We are all brothers and sisters, and we should always fight for the freedom and peace of all humanity. He adds that this day should help remind people about the history of the country and avoid repeating themselves. On such days, we should, uh, I think, remind our brothers and sisters that let us get a lesson from what we've gone through and avoid repeating that same mistake. Because when you make a mistake for the first time, it could be taken as a mistake. But when you do it a second time, that is deliberate. The very Reverend Canon Kisauzi further urged investigators to do their work transparently to avoid apprehending wrong people. Investigating, that is a very, very serious issue. Otherwise, when we are, uh, we are sided, we, we, we are bound to fail. We should be tra there should be transparency, and we know that with the criminals, so we, we call upon all the investigators to do the needful so that the rightful people are the ones who are apprehended, other than apprehending wrong people, and they spend a long, uh, long time in the dungeons when the real, the real criminals are just at large. The chief whip for Fronasa veterans has shown need for the whole world to commemorate the Jana Noom Day, saying that he did a lot not only to Uganda, therefore the government of Uganda should think of awarding him a star medal. This was also seconded by the dean. This day of Jana Noom should be not only remembered or celebrated in East Africa alone, it should be celebrated in the whole world because his opinion and ideology to attack Amin was saving Europeans. We shall continue remembering and we shall move our, at our resolutions to the Solicitor General for clearance, direct, no debates. The other veterans and from NASA members urged Ugandans to learn from the womb and also to contribute to the positive change of this country while commemorating this day. Uh, fena kwa kwa tukosa kubanga yale na party dia ya tuzanyira ngana fo tuba tuna chetwetaga tumugamba na tusabira tutere mwe sala katonda atukolechi atuwo bwangu tuwangule era kitufuke yakola ya tusabira era metuwangulo lutalo lwa amin olutali lwangu so we tutu kwa tuko kufwa cha tukosa nga fa balwanyi Kubante tuwa filo mtu wa makulu wenyo. Na chintu wechiliwe tule terobu zibu. Kubante, abantu tebali trusted. Omuntu wa dawa, bata takuwa gala, ayuzo kuchuli saamu na gawa nchi uyo wa ADF. Oyo aline mundu. Kati investigation, wanaba kola investigation, na bata soka genda kola investigation kuburawun. Some people they have uh, they have uh, they, they have jealousy they have jealousy even if you come we come up with something which which is genuine people will just continue doing it not stop you proceeding it because they are jealousy so when I let General Rumus day it's like that it was like that that's why you cannot see uh, transparency in people. Archbishop General Nwum Day is observed every February 16th in Uganda. The day recognizes the pivotal contributions of Jana Nwum, former Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Uganda. It is widely known that he was murdered on the orders of Uganda's former President Idi Amin because he was very vocal in his criticism of Amin's dictatorship and excesses in leadership. Despite being gone for over 46 years now, Archbishop Janani's legacy lives on and is today regarded as one of the most influential leaders of the modern church in Africa.